my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Food. In September, many of us are harvesting the tomatoes from our garden. We'll probably make some marinara sauce, salsa, tomato paste, and others, including tomato soup. <laughs> now, what goes hand in hand with it is this finger food grilled cheese sandwich. Extremely easy to make, this is always a favorite. It's simple and yet so tasty, especially my version of it. <laughs> so let's get cooking. We're making four sandwiches because David and I are hungry. <laughs> so we'll place a couple of slices of American cheese overlapping on four pieces of bread. Some like grated cheddar cheese. You can if you want, but I don't because it's a quick recipe and can be buttered with dishes after. Next, we'll put some finely chopped red onions on top and please don't skip this ingredient as it gives such a nice taste to the sandwich. Because I'll be pairing it with a nice bowl of homemade tomato soup, I won't put slices of tomatoes on the onions but sometimes I do. One thing we'll surely add is freshly ground black pepper. Just a little bit. We'll place a slice of bread on top of each and then spread with soft butter at room temperature, making sure to cover the entire surface. We're not doing the other side yet, okay? Then we'll place them on a baking sheet lined with foil. I told you I don't want to do dishes later. <laughs> Can you do this in a skillet? Of course, if you have just one sandwich. Otherwise, when there's more, the oven is the way to go. We'll transfer them to the oven under the boiler and toast until lightly brown, about two minutes. We'll remove from the heat, carefully flip them, and spread the soft butter all the way to the edges. We'll return the sandwiches back under the boiler and bake for a couple minutes as well or until nicely toasted. And my friends, this is our grilled cheese sandwich. Quick, easy, and so yummy, this comforting finger food is so satisfying. Served with my delicious tomato basil parmesan soup, this is an easy meal that's always a favorite. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts, directions, and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit!